Stop being so hard on yourself. In this walk with Christ, we're not going to be perfect. We're going to fall short sometimes. And that's why Jesus Christ came down here and won the battle for us. That's why you shouldn't be scared. That's why you shouldn't be living in fear. As if God just looks down at you and is mad at you when you fall short. No, because a righteous man falls seven times, but gets back up. And God wants you to take that sin that you just committed and learn from it so you don't go back to that sin. And there's a difference between slipping up and living a lukewarm lifestyle. When you're living a lukewarm lifestyle, you don't care that you're living in sin. And although you may get a little bit of guilt, brush past that guilt and just keep on sinning. And when you're living a lukewarm lifestyle, you're making a practice of sinning. That means you're going to keep sinning over and over and over without ever repenting. And when you're living like that, that is proof that you don't really love God. Because if you practice sin, that means you do it every single day. If you practice something, that means you do it every single day or every other day. It's just like if I'm playing basketball and I'm practicing it every single day. But if you are just struggling with a sin, if you're just struggling with going back, if you're fighting it each and every day, trying to figure out what is the root, then there's no reason to fear it. That should just be motivating you to spend so much time with God. And when you start spending more time with God, that's when the, the temptations will start to go away. They will start to get easier and easier. That's why you shouldn't fear because God is full of mercy and perfect love cast out all fear. Yes, we should fear God. We should have reverence for him and respect for him. You shouldn't be doing it out of fear. You should be doing it because you love God so much. Because I don't not go to church just because I'm scared to go to hell. I don't not sin because I'm scared to go to hell. I do it because I love God. Yes, if you fall short, you're supposed to have that conviction. And that's that, that conviction shows that you actually love God because you're regretting it. And when you repent, you're supposed to change your mind. When you regret something, you're supposed to change your mind about it. and Take the route that God wants you to take. If anything, you should be grateful for that conviction that you are getting. Because that was part of the reason why I even came to Christ. Those convictions, I did not like me. I, I did not like getting those convictions. Every time that Holy Spirit conviction hit me, it was like it made me not want to do it even more. And that made me push towards getting into the word. That made me push towards running to Christ when I got in those situations. Because the Holy Spirit is here to convict us for the evil deeds that we do. And not only is the Holy Spirit here to convict us, but he's also here to help us do it. And that's why we need to lean on God during those situations. Because we can't do it with our own strength. When we try to do it with our own strength, we'll fail. But when we rely on God... That is when we stop falling. That is when God will keep us from falling. When we tr when we stumble, he'll pick us right back up. When we stumble, he'll keep us from falling instead of us falling back to our trap. And that's why it's important that you're spending time with God. Because you not spending time with God could be the reason why you can't break out of that bondage you'd be stuck in. Because I remember, I remember vividly when I fell after like six or seven months straight of me not going back to my bondage it was like i was on the street and towards the end of that streak it was like six or seven months i stopped relying on god and i started relying on my own strength and as soon as i started doing that that is when i fell the reason i didn't get too discouraged is because i realized the reason why i realized that i wasn't relying on god and i was relying on my own strength i realized that i could get back up because i know that God was the only reason why I got through it the first time. So of course, if you try to fight this on your own and you maybe go on like a couple of months streaks and you end up falling, of course you're gonna feel guilty and you're, feel, you're gonna feel discouraged because you tried doing it on your own strength and it takes too much of your strength to do that again. But God wants to give us rest from us fighting. He wants to do it for us. So don't live in fear, instead love God. Start spending more time with God because when you love God, that's when you start to spend time with him. And when you start to spend time with him, that's when you will start to keep his commandments. And that's why it says in his word that he who loves me keeps my commandments. Because when you're spending time with God and you really love him, that's when you will live by the fruits of the spirit. And part of the fruit of the spirit is self-control. So start to love God more than you fear him. Because all he wants is a relationship with you. If you continue to live in fear instead of actually loving him, then you'll never see the beauty of the relationship. So... Y'all stay blessed.